Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Brent back with Dabber at Laboratories. Today I'm here to show you the Triton from Uptech or W9. It's the uh, Triton oil system. Uh, I've had this for a couple months now, I've been using it. Uh, pretty good device, uh, solid build. It's a little more complicated than some people are gonna wanna go for. And the price is a little bit higher than a lot of some other systems like this. Uh, it does come with more coils and uh, you know they claim that they're materials are cleaner than everyone else's materials so that's kind of their thing they've always really uh been the, the safety guys really into <clears throat> making sure you're getting clean clean materials so i'm gonna let you check out what's in the box well, i'll read read it to you too so you got this little shell mine came with a sticker and then you get a booklet with pretty good amount of information inside of it says thank you for purchasing the latest triton oil system we have come a long way since 2008 when we set out to create the first portable oil vaporizer designed in the usa with material safety portability and efficiency as our top priorities the triton is the product of our hard work and development thank you for joining us on our mission and making it your vaporizer gary b sincerely so pretty good amount of information in there Tell you a lot about your vaporizer. Um, there's a list of kind of capabilities <clears throat> and uh, kind of what the, the pluses are to their coils. So this is, uh, Triton oil system is an accumulation of many years of research and development coming together to create the best in class oil system. We have finally developed an oil system that has fixed most, if not all, issues associated with coil designs while also incorporating non-coil designs such as the 1701 rebuildable platforms it is our pleasure to have you use the best oil system that incorporates the best materials we carefully sourced to get the job done uh it says here's a list of things about the coils leak resistance no glue no silicone no wells no solder no nickel lead no silica fibers titanium grade 2 heaters stainless steel construction gold plated connector 304 stainless construction Temperature control ca uh, capable. So, I've been using TC mode on the bucket coils, like the one I have inside of here right now. So that's the uh, quartz bucket with the, uh, the nickel embedded ceramic plate below it. And then here's the titanium. And then actually, I'll show you guys what it's all. It's in there like that, and the Triton sits right here. So, the titanium has these little airflow holes on the side, which I'm not crazy about, just for messiness. He's got to make sure not to load too much in there. And this is a top airflow device. There is, it's not adjustable. It's just kind of one. But I haven't really had a problem with my airflow. It seems to kind of be in the sweet spot. So that's a little different. The way there's quite a bit of threading on there. Uh, all the threading is really clean, the machining is nice. And then here, here's the ceramic plate on the inside. And then you can expose your leads because these are rebuildable. So you unscrew this. And that exposes that lead. Kind of hard to see, sorry. And then this little gold piece down here exposes the other lead. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's coming out the bottom there. And not the easiest to get back on sometimes. I, I got it first try. Like if you're not an, like an experienced, like you're into you're into these devices, you know, like I would it might be something you'd pick up, but not if it's your first device. Unless you're like a tinkerer, you know, it's like you're kind of, this is your hobby. I would probably start out with something else. Um, really nice, really well thought out. A lot of things going on, but maybe too much going on for some. I mean, you want to kind of know what you're doing already with this device. And you probably have a good time with it. So, show you the other coils. <clears throat> this is the quartz in grade 2, which I use in wattage mode. So, I don't do a customizable TC mode. I never had much luck doing that. Intro is too impatient. <laughs> so they kind of have this ceramic 
base around here. So they, they work really well. I've been using the black ceramic one uh, more. Um, it's just a little harder to load because of that, I'd say. I'm sure they have the reason, the reasons for that. And, uh, I just found it makes it a tiny bit harder to load. So, using the black ceramic. clean one for you guys and then I think that's the serious coil it's the big old black ceramic coil and then I'm gonna uh, hit this porch real quick um the wattage you go a bit higher than I've gone on other coils for any you know, oil system I've been at 40 watts I, w I had it way too low at first I was like what the Fuck, man, this thing sucks. <laughs> it was because I just, I, I, it was my mistake and I had it at the wrong setting the first day I had it. And uh, somebody let me know that you want to run them quite a bit higher. So I have it at 40 watts and uh, 440 Fahrenheit. And I got, it works uh, pretty great for me. So I'll show you guys my results with it. Uh, load up. Dutch haze, pretty good stuff. Little tiny diamonds in there. Got a decent sized little glob in there. And the bucket is decent sized. That's pretty cool. Show you guys what I got loaded up. Might be kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. <coughs> Give it a little preheat, but you don't gotta go too long. Cheers. Smooth, pretty good flavor, <coughs> as it should be off quartz. Um, it does work well. I, I like this coil a lot. <coughs> I'd say out of all the coils, this is my favorite coil. I'm not a huge fan of the other ones just because they're <coughs> a little hard for me to load. And then uh, titanium, I'm just not that huge of a fan of any of the companies that are out there, titanium buckets. <coughs> I'm just not. Uh, it's just hard. It makes me cough real bad. I just try to avoid it. <clears throat> but uh with the quartz it's awesome i like it a lot i don't know if it's worth getting the whole thing for just the quartz but uh i don't know i like it i, I use it <clears throat> i'd highly recommend it to people that are already into the w9 stuff a lot i'm sure like most of them already have them uh they've always made quality devices um you can tell all the machining is really legit uh i know they got a warranty going on with it <clears throat> you can uh clean all the coils and put them back together and then the two bucket coils are completely rebuildable so that's pretty cool uh, i want to hit this one more time actually before i'm done <coughs> i think there's another one device too so it's got that pretty cool image layered on there there's that bottom air flow or sorry top air flow that's where it's coming through mouthpiece comes out got those sign signature orange o-rings they use and then we've got that straight through out for you. Whew, it's hot. So, real nice machining on there. Together. So I uh, want to thank everybody for watching my video. And, uh, thank everybody who subscribes. If you like watching these videos on a regular basis, please like and subscribe. 
And I want you all to have a great day. Thank you very much.